Now, what are we working on here? <laughs> We're working on cleaning our boat. Because we haven't cleaned it in a very long time and we haven't gotten a chance to like go out and it's just been sitting here so it's really dirty. Yeah. We were hoping to go out this weekend but work overcame us. She is exactly right. I couldn't have said it better myself. Work overcame us. We have been working really hard on the boat and we thought we could get a few projects done and then go out. Um, but there's just too much to do, so it's better use of our time to get this done so we can move on. But I think the expression is, the family that cleans their boat together gets to go to the Bahamas together. Is that right? <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't know. know. We'll find out, I guess. You guys, I... I think so. I, I thought know. we could improvise here and kind of <laughs> just go with it, but both, all of you just were like, uh... <laughs> Let's change our story, let's change our life We'll do it our way, our own design This is the side we haven't waxed yet So I can find hard on this side? We're waxing this little by little <laughs> And um, Carter's side we did get waxed This is how you get a And then out. the summer heat came about and then that was the problem. Look how good it looks. Just a quick wipe with a magic eraser and then we're all set. This video is not sponsored. We are not sponsored by magic erasers, but <laughs> Mr. Clean, if you want to sponsor us, if you want to sponsor us, we could definitely use some free products. Especially since you can't <laughs> find magic eraser anywhere right now. Okay guys, if you ever wonder how do you get exercise while you're on a boat, this is how. I was most concerned with exercise. Let me see these guns. No. Right here, these ones. You, no. gotta, you gotta show me, if you're gonna tell everyone about exercise, you gotta show them the results. No! You show them the results! I don't, I have noodle arms! Okay, warning, I'm about to show something, and this is a good clickbait here, okay? Mm. Clickbait warning in three, two, one. Good example of why the boat isn't quite livable yet, because it's mostly a construction zone. This is what I have to do right now to make my way down the staircase. And most of this is just because we don't really have a great place to put it. Um, this is the hallway in the port cabin. And up there, that's gonna be a bathroom one day, but it's not right now. This is Becky and I's cabin, the port aft cabin. And we've made a huge amount of progress. As you can see here, the cabinets, this drawer front I need to put on and more slides for this one. Um, but these drawers are fantastic and I know there's been a lot of people reach out to us and talk about you know these look awfully big and we need to be conscientious of the weight and I just want to let you know the message has been received this is just for clothing we're not going to overload this and um, the boat can handle a little bit of extra weight this is the aft of the boat it's behind the mast we can handle some um, this side also I put in a nice chest of drawers right now I've got tools in them and with the drawer poles that we bought, the screws are too short. So I've ordered longer screws. Um, they're M5, so you know I couldn't buy those at the local hardware store, and I wanted them in stainless anyway. So we've ordered those. Those will come in a few days, and we'll get our drawer knobs on. Let me show you the vinyl. So we're making great progress here. Um, this is the head of the bed. This is where our pillows are going to go. So this piece of vinyl is up. You can see behind it is the reflectix. Um, so that'll serve as insulation as well as uh, as a, a condensation barrier. Um, this is the foot of the bed. Um, again, we've got Reflectix, and then this is the foam back vinyl. Um, guys, if you would need to know what we bought, we're getting this stuff on Amazon, and I'll have a link in the video description for the vinyl, so you can click that. It's the exact product. This is excellent. Okay, so this one here is the most complicated piece that we're trying to put up. We've got to cover this rounded corner here. And so what we've done is we've taken our measurement from here to over here, which is about 36 inches. And then as this comes in this way, um, this will be a nice straight sewn edge. And then this is only about 10 inches in here. So what we've done is we've taken our piece of material and we've measured out the difference. So then here between this little tab this area and then this tab we've got our 10 inches and then this is all the extra and then we've we've made these um these darts i think you call them 
and we stopped here 10 inches down from the top because this measurement here is 10 inches down from the top. This is all very complicated stuff. I hope that this is making sense. Um, Becky's going to go ahead and sew these and then we're going to cut off all of this bulk um, and then we're going to trim this end and uh, sew it as well. We've gone ahead and cut a curve. You can see all these little relief cuts in there. This is the finished side here. It goes up kind of like that. Yeah, you can see that. Guys, the battery died on us while we were hanging this up, but uh, we did get it up. Here's the finished product. You know, not too bad for a couple of amateurs who have never done this before. You can see we've got this seam here, this dart here, this dart here. And let me try to change the angle so you can get a better look at it. And it rounded the corner here just perfectly. Now, don't pay too much attention to what you see up here. This is all going to be a drop ceiling with lights installed. So these are the LED lights that I'm going to be using. Uh, these are the same ones that we used on the starboard side. These are a low draw 12 volt DC we bought on Amazon. I've got part of our headliner installed. The vinyl is um, coming along really nicely. We still have to put our headliner up there and I've got one more light to install back there. This is a new um, shelf top that's gonna go back in there to finish that off. Perfect, just like that. So we got the table cleared off. I think it's, I think it's just kind of press fit. So we'll just rock it back and forth. Yeah, it's coming up. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Let me do mine. Okay. Drop yours a little bit. Okay, well, I guess we'll go this way. That was unexpected. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, why in the world would you get rid of your table? It's just too big. It's way too big for for what we're doing here. And it overhangs the, the sofa a little bit too far. Um, so you really have to like scrunch in. You can't really quite get there. Um, and it's just, it, you know, we plan to use this um, living room area quite a bit, you know, for family time, family gathering. And to always be trapped behind a table is just not gonna work for us. So the solution is we're gonna leave these um, bases in the floor and we're going to either build or buy a uh, smaller table. And so basically when we need a table, we're gonna plunk it down in there. And when we don't need a table, then um, we'll take it and stow it. Okay. <laughs> As you can see. We're, we're arguing about the camera and the position and everything. Okay, anyway, so. As you can see, we've made a lot of progress on both aft cabins, the galley, and we have our ottoman in the salon, so it's getting a lot more comfortable to stay on the boat. We're staying on it this weekend, yep. and uh, hopefully we'll get things moved on over the next couple of weeks. Do you guys think we can do it? I hope so. We need to get rid of the RV, and we need to get out of our uh, lease at the campground. Don't forget to give us a like on your way out, and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.